Hi, I'm Chris Wisniewski, and I'm going to share this indoor air quality moment with you. So what we have over here is we have a rental space. This rental space is vacant right now, and the owners are concerned about smells, and very strong smells, by the way. This place is vacant, but it is full of carpet. Now, this place is also over a garage space. So the human nose, like mine, has definitely picked up on this strong smell, but actually we were backed up by an air monitor that we use and we've had it here for a couple days now uh, that will, um, has definitely confirmed actually a high level of VOCs, volatile organic compounds. And that's exactly what I'm smelling. It's the off-gassing of various things. Those chemicals are extremely uh, strong. And you can see by the report that we're going to pull up here, it's uh, evidence that the VOC levels are too high for human comfort. They're not healthy. They're not pleasant. They're not healthy. The saving grace is that we have a central air system. We have a distribution of air throughout the space. As you're looking at the grills here, uh, that will help move air around, uh, which means that we can treat the air. And the only air we can treat is the indoor air. So how are we going to treat this indoor air? Well, we have a product that we use. And it's a combination of UV light uh, that uses two different bulbs. There are two different spectrums of the UV uh, spectrum. That's the UVC, which is pretty common and uh, most people probably have heard of. UVC treats the surfaces. It treats whatever it can shine a light on. And we're going to place it inside the return airstream of the ductwork. So as all the air comes through, any germs, anything of that sort will be properly treated uh, by contact, by exposure to this UVC light. The other one is a UVV light. And UVV light is just a different spectrum. Uh, 185 nanometers is the exact spectrum that it's used. And what that does is it produces ozone. Now, I'm sure you guys have um, heard of ozone. Um, ozone ha has a bad rap. Uh, ozone in high quantities is definitely not good. It's not healthy. Uh, but this product we have here does not produce ozone anywhere close to the levels that are even uh, at the threshold of being unsafe. So the whole ozone creation process is basically a catalyst that will help break apart certain organi organic compounds that will help eliminate all of these smells. And what we are going to do is that we are going to install this device and along with the air monitor, we're going to monitor this for several weeks and compare and see how the results are. And I'm very excited to see it. Uh, we've always had uh, limited access to uh, a long-term um, uh, reporting. And actually, uh, you know, we've always had feedback from customers and clients about the improvements. But over here, we are actually going to get the uh, ability of having this monitor be here every single day. So we will see hour by hour, minute by, by minute improvements as this device is installed. So here we have the existing air conditioning and heating system. It is a split furnace system and very lucky for us, nice and accessible is the return air duct, has a nice rise. The perfect installation for it would be right here in the middle of this return duct. Um, and the beauty of it is that it is not, even though it's integrated into the air conditioning and heating system, it does not have to stay with it. So as you replace your AC and heating system, this part can stay, has a lifetime warranty, a two-year warranty in all the bulbs, both the UVC and the UVV bulbs have a two-year warranty. They should be replaced every two years for their full effectiveness. But the actual device itself, the ballast, everything around it, the hardware has a full lifetime warranty. So as you replace the air conditioning and heating system, you can definitely keep the device that we're going to install. So now we have our device installed. We have the uh, power light on. We have the UV ballast light on, which means it's working. The only thing left to do is give it time to operate and we will check in on it. I'm very excited to actually see the reports and see how effective it is and uh, to be here personally and to smell the difference. Over here, we will turn the fan to constantly be on. It's the only way we can ensure that the air is constantly moving in this space and it's being treated by the UVC and the UVV light that we just installed. Remember, the only air we can treat is the indoor air. 
and the indoor air is the air you breathe 90 plus percent of the time of your life. We spend 90% of our lives indoors. It's your comfort and it's your health. Take care of it. This is now four days later and uh, immediately as I walk up the steps here, I just notice a 180 degree turnaround in terms of smells. This space, same exact space we dealt with, uh, just feels like a new space. I mean, I can't, I can't describe what I'm really smelling or feeling, but truly feels like right after an, uh, a thunderstorm, that fresh feeling of air. Uh, what we're going to do, I mean, there's just no doubt that this was extremely effective. There's no more of that chemical smell, the air freshener smell that was covering up the, uh, the rodent smell. What we are actually going to do is uh, just turn it down. So we were treating this fully all the way. I am now going to turn it down to about halfway. So wow, would you look at that? I mean, if the report doesn't give you the whole perspective of what just happened. Um, we started off on the 31st, and this is a sort of a four day snapshot. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, but um, the reason it spiked, we were getting an average reading uh, just shy of 2000 micrograms per cubic meter. Uh, the reason it spiked up is right before I placed the meter uh, in that location, I placed it right next to all the air fresheners that I took uh, and unplugged from the wall, which is something I did not show in the video, but they were next to it for a couple seconds. And I realized I should remove these from the space, which I did. But uh, it's evidence right here. I mean, as soon as we have this uh, UVV light on, uh, hours afterwards, it just became effective and continued on for several days. We're going to uh, continue monitoring this with the uh, air monitor that you know we still have here. It's still going, it's still going to stay here, it's still going to take readings. Uh, but from the human perspective, the nose, the senses, it's a, it's a success story.